Hi. Hi. I'm Susan. Susan. Yes. Nice to meet you. My name is Amin. I'm the respiratory Hi. educator. We will be doing a breathing test on you today. Okay. okay. So I have uh, been a smoker for yeah. 40 years. Probably started when I was about 16, 17. Of course, peer pressure, school pressure, all your friends were smoking. Parents smoked, that sort of thing. So, and just kind of carried on from there. Susan Philpot has always worried about the potential damage that smoking was having on her body. But it wasn't until today that she decided to put her lungs to the test. Four, okay, tight seal, normal breathing, good. One more normal breath in. Realizing as I get older, um, it is something that I really have to consider. One more, take a deep breath in. Right through there, take it out of your mouth, relax, good. What they do is uh, the spirometer, they, they hold the mouthpiece and we just connect it to a laptop, they put it in their mouth and they blow out and we get the results and they empty their lungs out completely. And uh, from that we get results and we see, uh, we see uh, the, their volumes and their capacities. The test compares them to other men and women, um, their age and their height. You're looking at anyone with uh, respiratory um, symptoms that are not really sure about what's going on, such as a cough or a wheeze, shortness of breath, chest tightness, anything like that, uh, we can help them with that. Any type of respiratory symptom they may be having. Good. Take it up. Relax. All right, that wasn't so bad. It's painless, I assure you. There's no reason why you shouldn't give this a try. And actually, although this is a very simple test, there's a lot you can tell about the health of your lungs. In fact, it's the most reliable way to detect common lung problems, asthma, and COPD, or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. And when it comes to COPD in smokers, early detection can make a big difference. It's very important that we catch these patients at a mild phase so we can educate them and hopefully get them to stop smoking. Um, if, if they don't get that education, they could slip into the moderate and severe stages. And sometimes, you know, when it, when it gets really bad, they could end up on oxygen. So in that way, if we catch them early and, and take some preventative measures, it could save the healthcare system many dollars in the end you know, for hospitalizations, emergency visits, that sort of thing. Results of the test can be sent to family doctors, and if necessary, patients can follow up with further testing. And even if the test results are not severe, they may just inspire someone to change their habits. Now is a good time to, to step up to the plate, and I, I guess, <laughs> and, uh, and quit. For Shaw TV, I'm Sheila Nyquist.